The key thing with the fields of earth, atmospheric and environmental sciences is that we're constantly being challenged with new changes and developments within this field, whether it be new research or literally paradigm shifting stuff that we have to react to. But we do. And the programs that we teach here and the research that we undertake here feed into this amazing field of science. And it's one that I think anyone who comes to Manchester will feel that they are actually a part of. We take great pride in making sure that the, the course is, is world, world class here at Manchester and this is reflected by the research profile of the people that do, that do the teaching. Uh, we build the course on a 15 year experience that we have here in developing the course and we make sure that it's tailored to the needs of employers through our industrial liaison committee. Our students receive formal lectures. In addition to those formal lectures, they receive small group tutorials, uh, which are a vital part of, of both catching up on the material that they've received in lectures, but in addition, honing those other skills for careers, for writing, a broader set of skills to develop their overall CV and knowledge base. Over and above all of that, a huge amount of time is spent in laboratories. Uh, this is hands-on learning, group learning, working with academic staff to really develop those skills that they've picked up in the laboratory and that hands-on group learning and independent learning in the laboratory is a vital part of delivering all of our programmes. Here at Manchester we have a team of very high profile internationally leading researchers and we use that research to directly feed into the teaching that we do as part of the environmental science course. So we keep the modules regularly updated to include uh, the latest research and make sure that we're giving the most exciting and topical aspects to the teaching that we do. I was looking for a paleontology project and rather than more traditional paleo topics this one combines chemistry, biology, physics, all these different areas into paleontology to try and find all kinds of new information from these fossils so it's just multidisciplinary it makes it really quite fascinating. The way we structure our degrees is that in the first couple of years we teach the students everything we think they should know. Then in, in the third and fourth years they can specialise and this is where they can start thinking about what career path they can go down. And you can choose options and projects to help tune that and we give them advice as they go along. Everybody was really friendly and willing to help. And the academic staff are very approachable and you can always knock on anybody's door if you have questions regarding your course and even if you just have questions you can approach any student and you just don't feel like, like, feel like they're your friends and they will always be helpful so I find that it's very important. Teaching is brilliant, all the lecturers are so enthusiastic. If you have a question they will more than happily answer it for you. We've had much success in previous research assessment exercises and our research continues to grow from strength to strength uh, with very high pro profile publications over the last two or three years in nature and science and other leading publications and we very much expect that that research uh, activity will continue to blossom as, as we go forward in the future. Manchester is one of the few places that has the credibility for students to be able to work uh, with nuclear materials uh, in controlled environments, be that within the university or, or be that in industrial environments. My course is a combination between geography and geology. I went to Spain for uh, just over a month for my dissertation, studying the difference between uh, the north and south side of the Cantabrian mountains. I spent two weeks on one side, two weeks on the other, and then we got back. We kind of wrote up all our data and um, looked at how they differed, basically. Here at the University of Manchester I'm what's known as a WP award holder or Widening Participation Award holder. As part of the Faculty of Engineering and Physical Sciences I transfer a lot of my enthusiasm and interest in my course onto a lot of youngsters um, amongst the local schools. Um, so the development of fantastic workshops and really facilitating students' uh, learnings and encouraging them to investigate science as a broad and specific subject. Our graduates end up working in a wide range of different uh, careers from the oil and gas sector to environmental uh, science, waste management, geotechnical engineering um, or teaching and a lot of them go on to uh, do further studies and end up being academics. 
If you want to use a piece of kit that is difficult to source at maybe another university, the chances are it's here at Manchester. And there is a fantastic network of people who will put students in touch so they can access and use that equipment. If you actually run the samples yourself, understand how to drive that particular machinery, that's a much better educational experience. It's amazing to watch students who come in the door grow over three years here at Manchester. One of the things that we, that we learn from our students is how we can adapt and get them ready for employability. And that's one of the things that we've been developing quite strongly here at the University of Manchester. In fact, we have an industrial liaison committee that's really helped our students compete to go on to jobs, and they do go on to fantastic jobs after they leave here.